subpar education and menial life of an engineer. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to be watching Big Bang Theory Season 9 to see how accurate all the science and technology scenes in this season really are. I had a really hard time finding any episodes for the Season 9 summary video, and it just so happens that one of my close friends is a physicist, and he told me to watch Season 9 Episode 18, and that's where we're going to go with today. 75%? That's outrageous. I mean, this is our idea based on our research. How can you possibly justify owning a majority share? It's university policy. I know when I'm beat. <laughs> they can absolutely ask for 75% because actually, the, the friend of mine who's a physicist should have been here to explain this to you guys, but I'll, I'll do the best I can. It's really because Anyone, it's not just for physics, it's for any discipline in the university, even for psychology patents. It's, it's a matter of you're using university resources and university time and university money, and it's effectively saying without all the resources that the university has provided to you over all the years that they've been paying your salary, there's no way you could have come up with that on your own. And which is certainly true. I mean, I, I can't imagine many uh, breakthroughs of physics and cyclotrons and things like that being done in someone's garage. So they do have a point in that the only way that this paper was ever published or the research was ever completed is because the university could afford to buy like million dollar instruments and very powerful computers and so it, it is a give and take. 75% is steep. I uh, I didn't know it was that bad. I'm an engineer. I haven't had to do anything like this. I... oh boy. That's... Yeah, that's why you should have been an engineer and not a physicist. It's an antique sextant. Sailors use these to find their positions by the stars. What a nice gift for an astrophysicist. I know, she's so thoughtful. See, she's trying to get you back. Now that is exactly what I would have gotten you if I had any idea what it is or what you do. Okay, I don't know where you'd even get one of those, but yeah, he's right. It's just, uh... uh it, it's so difficult for us to even imagine a world without... GPS or MapQuest, depending on how old you are watching this video. But imagine you have to cross an ocean and your best chances of navigating are by nighttime and you use that. It is, it's a sextant and it, there are so many things that can go wrong with that. I mean, it, it is incredible what humans can do, but I, I just have no idea how someone was that confident where it's like, yeah, I know exactly where to go across Europe to whatever this country is based off of the stars at night. That's, yeah, I'm not getting on that boat. How dismissive I've been of your contributions. I appreciate that. And I just hope that this scholarship can rescue your child from the subpar education and menial life of an engineer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap! <laughs> the subpar and medial life of an engineer. Oh my gosh! It's okay. The that that physicist friend of mine who recommended this episode. I know he's watching this right now, and I hope you get all your funding cut off for the rest of your career. You jackass! You just wanted me to watch that. <laughs> Dang, I'm going to replay that just because th that really... Just hope that this scholarship can rescue your child from the subpar education and menial life of an engineer. <laughs> oh my gosh! Subpar and menial life as an engineer. Dude, that is rough. <laughs> Look, I, there are definitely parts of an engineering career that are subpar, but I'll tell you overall, it's pretty awesome being an engineer. It, it, it's a lot of fun, you can get a lot of cool stuff done, and at least I don't have to go begging for funding every couple of years. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you all have the best rest of your day. Dude.